Hi everybody, today I am making another comparison, you can find others on this channel. I am comparing one of the first of the very first portable recorders, the Zoom H2, which had a great success because it was small, cheap and sounded pretty good. I am comparing this to uh, a legend, because the AKG414 is a legend. I don't know if you can see the I don't touch it because I'm recording on it. You can actually see the zoom, the back of the zoom. I pointed them toward the same spot on the guitar and I'm playing something and I will compare the recordings. I don't know if I'm comparing them dry, completely dry, just the recording uh, with volume at the same level or if I'm adding some EQ or reverb just to make the sound even a little better so we can understand how does a very cheap portable recorder stand against a very, very good mic? Because the AKG is a very good mic. We still don't know, we have to make the comparison. I'm not the first to do this kind of comparison, but I have it, so why not? So I'm going to turn on the Zoom H2 and I'm going to play something. This was the performance, the high-level performance. I played uh, a song, I tried to play a song. I will uh, change indicating what you're listening to, if you're listening to the Zoom or you're listening to the AKG microphone. Uh, I will switch between uh, the two of them several times. Um, as I said, I'm not sure if I will leave the recording like it is uh, or maybe modify it with EQ and reverb, uh, but I will say that uh, in the case I'm uh, going to work on this amazing recording. I did mention that this uh, Zoom H2, like many of these kind of uh, devices, it has two microphones, one on the front and one on, on the back. I, ju I just used the one on the front as I used a cardioid pattern for the uh, AKG microphone, so they are picking uh, this side and not the rear. Uh, I'm not sure what the result is because I have to listen to them yet, but you will when you will see the video. Goodbye.